There they are, one, two, and if you look inside Anita Hudson's truck, three bears. There's a cub inside my truck. It was a honking horn at 6.30 in the morning that woke her. What she thought might be thieves turned out to be this. And so I'm looking and then I'm thinking, where's this person? And all of a sudden a bear is in my truck and I'm just like, my truck. Hudson lives and works at Pegwis First Nation, a reserve about 200 kilometers north of Winnipeg, where bear sightings are common, but this is not. And how did that happen? I'm like, I don't know, but I'm assuming that they accidentally or somehow opened up the door. I said the handle's broken now, so, and then somehow the door closed behind them. Bears are naturally curious, and in communities across Canada, the human world and the animal kingdom have been fighting for territory. Most recently in a residential neighborhood north of Toronto, where a black bear that had been on the run for days was controversially cornered and killed. How the f did a bear get in my truck? In this case, the only loss, Hudson's truck. Oh, my truck. The door panels are shredded, um, ripped off my OnStar, the ceiling, the roof is um, ripped up. And then he also left some gifts inside. <laughs> it was a neighbor in another truck that finally helped release the cub in the cab. A wild oh, ending no. documented on Please. video because Hudson said if she'd just retold this bear tale, who would have believed it? Jill Mackishon, CTV News, Winnipeg.